iOS 16.2 is finally here to fix all the bugs from iOS 16, iOS 16.1, iOS 16.1.1 and iOS 16.1.2. It is itself a complete package and along with fixing bugs, it has also introduced a lot of new features. So in this video, let's have a look at them one by one. So first things first, let us have a look at the update size. As you can see on my 14 Pro Max, I have received iOS 16.2's update that is about 1.29 GB. But if your update size is not of 1.29 GB, if it is for approximately 3 GBs or maybe 4 GBs, you do not have to worry about as you might be on a different iOS version. Just whatever the size of update is, feel free to install it. Now let us talk about all of the compatible devices. All of the iPhones that received iOS 16's update are the devices that will support iOS 16.2 as well and as you can see these are the devices that support iOS 16 and iOS 16.2 so now let's talk about the biggest change lock of iOS 16.2 that is introduction of 5G in India as you can see this is the iPhone 12 that is running on iOS 16.2 let me show you uh, the iOS version is 16.2 and if I go inside uh, mobile data and I tap on mobile data options and now voice and data you can see I do have options for 5G as well along with LTE. So that is one good thing about iOS 16.2 that now users have access to 5G if their network carrier provider supports it. Currently this device has a GeoSIM on it which is why I'm able to use 5G on this device. And if I run a speed test on this device, I am able to touch, oh my god, even 290, even 300 plus Mbps. 340 approximately 353 mbps on my device so yeah that's that's great news and now the second biggest feature of ios 16.2 is for iphone 14 pro models so a lot of people were not happy with it and as you can see this is the aod on ios 16.1.1 and this has been further improvised so if i just go into settings then tap on display and brightness scroll down a little tap on always on display i now have these toggle to further customize my always on display so if i want i can toggle off a wallpaper and also for notifications and when i will lock my display this will look like this and as you can see, these are two devices. This is still on iOS 16.1.2 and this is running on iOS 16.2. And as you can see, there's a massive difference between these two. And I would any day pick up this one over this one. So yeah, kudos to Apple for fixing AOD. And I think it looks really, really nice now. Another major change lock that we saw in iOS 16.2 is introduction of new lock screen widgets. So if I just long press on my lock screen and then tap on customize, further tap on lock screen. If I then tap on add widgets and when I will scroll down, I will have new widgets for sleep. As you can see, I can access my sleep data right from my lock screen. I'll have new widgets for medications as well so that my iPhone can remind me of having my medications on time. If I talk about yet another feature that Apple introduced in iOS 16.2, is Apple Music Sing inside Apple Music app. Even though we have created a dedicated video for this that you can watch by tapping on this i button over here, but even though I'll still give you a brief about it. So if you are listening to any song and you're inside the lyrics tab of any song, first of all, let me lower down the volume so that I can avoid copyrights. And now whenever I'll play any song, I can just tap on this icon. And as you can see, iOS has automatically reduced the vocal volume of the song so that I can pretend like I'm the lead of the song. And if I further want, I can also play with this vocal volume of a song so that I can also hear what the uh, lead singer has to say. And yeah, I think it's a cool feature to have, even though it's not something massive, it's not something major. I was genuinely waiting for Apple Music Classicals, but uh, yeah, this is one feature that I wasn't expecting, but is good to have. We already know that Apple takes privacy very seriously and this is one thing that has also been reflected. This ideology has been reflected in iOS 16.2 as well through advanced data protection. So even though it's still not available in India at this point, but I'll still show you how you can access it. All you have to do is go inside settings, tap on your Apple ID banner, tap on iCloud. And when you will scroll down to the bottom, you will see a new option for advanced data protection. So whenever you will tap on it, you will get a new dedicated option. And this is basically a fancier name for end to end encryption. We already know that Apple loves to do it. They just try to put a fancy name over a feature that has been going on for ages. And they have already end to end encrypted a lot of other applications and services that are created by themselves. But uh, iCloud backup was one feature was one, uh, I would say a service that wasn't end to end encrypted. But now all your iCloud backups will be end to end encrypted. If you want you and only you, not even Apple will be able to encrypt that particular file. Sadly, it's still not available in India. And this banner looking thing is notifying me about this. Advanced data protection is still not available in your country or region. So let's hope we get it as soon as possible. 
possible. And along with all of these features, Apple also introduced Freeform app. So you can install it on your iPhone if you want, even though I think it will be pre-installed on your iPhone. But still, if it's not there, you can just install it from the App Store. And let me show you how it works. So as you can see, I just opened Freeform on my iPhone and you can see this uh, flash screen notifies me about all the things that uh, Freeform application can do. I will just tap on continue. And as you can see, I have this endless canvas where I can draw, even put notes on it, put stickers on it, put photos on it. And I can also collaborate with my friends if I want. So that's just advanced level of notes application, I would say. Notes app still had few limitations to it, but after Freeform, I think notes taking and collaborating on a same project will be really, really easy. And now let's talk about one feature that literally none of us was expecting. And guess what? It's related to airdrop. So if I just open the airdrop menu, I will just long press on the airdrop icon. As you can see, I have a new option for everyone for 10 minutes. So you might have seen those social media trends where people write literally anything, any crap thing inside the notes application and they just uh, airdrop that particular note to random people when they are uh, in crowd. So if you're not interested in that, you can just toggle on this feature and get rid of that. We already know that Apple introduced live activities when they were announcing iOS 16. And I would say this is the future of notifications. And to support this, they have now introduced live activities for Apple TV. So inside the Apple TV's app, if you're watching baseball app or maybe even the football, you'll now have access to live widgets of it. You'll be able to see live score and notifications about the match right from your lock screen. So these are finally all the new features that Apple introduced in iOS 16.2. And apart from these, there are a lot of bug fixes as well that Apple made to iPhones in order to enhance the experience. You might have heard that news where iOS 14's SOS was being triggered when a person was in a roller coaster ride. So with this update, Apple did make sure that this won't happen. And even though I haven't tested it out myself, but according to some YouTubers and some reporters, it is also being said that Apple has fixed the battery life and the heating issues of iPhone phone in iOS 16.2. Whenever I will be testing it out myself, I will definitely let you know about it. So make sure you stay updated with us. So that is it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about iOS 16.2 and which is that one feature that you like the most. Do let me know in the comments. If you're watching this video till this point, I know you've liked it, which is why I would really, really appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you like to stay updated with everything Apple, download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store. And this is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.